Coqueo? Coikea. Coikea. Potato chips. They're actually made in Belgium, but they're obviously Japanese brand. Hmm. So this is supposed to taste like yakitori. Strange. So this time we blitzed up the rosemary. I'm not sure if in the other one was recorded or not, but um, so it looks like the dough's performed a bit differently. So it's a lot harder, less moist. It had the same amount of water, but oh, well, it feels nice. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. And get all the oil. Yeah. Oh, it smells lovely. Um, maybe you can tip the oil out. Yeah. It, sm it smells really interesting. <laughs> oh, I can't describe it. It must be the sage. Mm. It's got sage, it's got rosemary. <laughs> it's got all the herbs. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> but, <laughs> is it rosemary and basil in the old TV programme with the lion called Parsley. Mm. I can't remember the name of the programme, but it's like Lady Rosemary and I think it's basil. Um, yeah, or bay leaf, I don't know. Bay leaf the gardener, maybe? That's my guess. Nice. See a bit of the salt we put on. try and make an overnight rye bread like a Danish style rye bread I think it's an American recipe so we'll see how it turns out that's a ridiculous amount of seeds <laughs> it is what it is at the moment yeah well, it needs to be clay-like in texture, apparently. And... I mean, clay can be dry clay, it can be wet clay. <laughs> so, I don't know, is this clay? Why don't you yeah. comment on the video? Tell us if this looks like clay to you. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> the sourdough, so that's too much maintenance to make the dry. It's, uh, you do it overnight, we'll see how we go. Hopefully it'll be a bit like rice, um, rice. So this is the dough. Yeah. We left overnight. It looks a bit hard. Me. Be fine. And then that's the other bit. So we'll be combining these two. I guess 
take it out to take it off? Yeah, yeah. Just taking the cover right. off. Yeah. And then put it back in. Oh, it's still a bit unsoft. I think. Mm. That one could do longer, I think. Mm. He seems less away. So it's a bit more like I'm quite happy with. Well, like the colour of it, the look of it, we didn't quite have a big enough tin because that was like a tin with a special lid, which obviously we don't have. But it so far looks good. Now we're going to pop it back in to finish its cooking. Apparently, like mm. this, I'm not sure. I don't know why. Well, it's to cook the bottom of it to make it crispy, I think, because mm. it'll be slightly soggy because it's been in the tin. Oops. Well, it's, uh... <laughs> Does it fit? Shall I take out the first one? Something like that? Mm. I'm sure that's going to be too hard. It might be, yeah. How long are we doing it for? Ten minutes. Ooh. We'll have a look at this bottom. It's obviously going to be stodgy because of the bread in it, but mm. I don't know, I think it's fine. I think yeah. any more is just going to crack apart, mm. so we'll maybe leave that. Yeah, so we'll leave these up for apparently three hours, right? <laughs> Can we wait that long? We've got to apparently eat it tomorrow. Yeah, oh, that's true. So, yeah. you know. Okay, maybe. I mean, three hours is nothing. Yeah. Non celebrities using the phrase and SARS. Oh, sorry, that could have been a bit thinner. Alright. Oh, I'm not sure if it's. We'll see. I'm sure it's. Uh... I suppose I could always toast it anyway. I mean, it looks good. Oh, I suppose it is moist anyway in, yeah. the, in the bread when you get it. So. Oh. oh, that's better. Uh, Fantastic. So we're going to have this as Danish open sandwich mm. style. Yeah. What are you talking about? They've just ignored it and they've ignored it. we condemned the killing of innocent civilians by soldiers. Uh, they just pretended as if the Nigerian government had never denied it because it is such a, there's overwhelming evidence. ...and discrimination against Jewish people under Jeremy Corbyn. ...and without football or netball for children. 